I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of how to use Jamboard. So you're going to navigate up to the waffle in the upper right hand corner of your Chrome window. It's not going to show up in the first set of applications, but if you scroll down, you'll see Jamboard here. You can either click on it and it will take you to all your Jamboards that you've ever worked on. And you can add a new jam by using the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. Here you can create your own Jamboard, but for the purposes of this class, we'll mostly be working on pre-made Jamboards. So once you receive the link for your Jamboard, typically posted in Google, Google Classroom, you may be asked to answer some questions on either one slide or multiple slides. You can navigate through the slides by clicking on the top. If you'd like to respond with a sticky note, you click on the button here that looks like a look, looks like a little box with lines, and then you can type. You can change the color. Um, you could put math, design, and science because that's what block one is. Block one is math, design, and science. You can then move the little sticky note to wherever you want it on the Jamboard. Other options are you can use the pen feature. There are multiple different settings for the pens. You can pick different pens, a brush, and you can use the writing tool. And you can put Miss. As you can see, the brush tool is not the best tool for writing on a Jamboard. The next tool down is erase. You can erase what you wrote. Again, it's not the best tool to use. Next, you have the select one. You can select any of the boxes. Then we have add image. This one, you can uh, click on the image. You can either drag an image that you already have saved, or you can search your Google Drive, your photos, or a Google image. You can um, search for a smiley face emoji. Um, I like this guy. You can select him and he will pop up in, oh, I'm twisting him. He will pop up in your Jamboard and you can move him around. The next feature is a laser. You can make a laser shape and then it does go away. It is not a permanent feature. So those are just some of the tools that we'll be using on Jamboard. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me.